I you know, know. Coach, I, I feel like it's been kind of a disastrous start to the season, but even you think? with it being a disastrous <laughs> start to the season, <laughs> you're just a game and a half out of the eight seed. Like, but after kind of, the start to yeah, be 10-14? Yeah. After kind of the start. like Not it, that it, bad. You kind of steadied the ship and things are getting better, right? You know, I mean, I agree. It, it hasn't been a great start. And you're, even right now, sometimes I, I, you just don't feel like things are good. But we won. I mean, we're eight and five out of our last thirteen with a chance, good chance. We feel good about tonight. You know, we we can. You know, if win tonight. We're nine and five in the last fourteen. So things aren't things aren't as bad as I feel and, and as we feel. We just have to keep, you know, tipping away. We're, we're getting a little bit better. We're playing a little better defense. We're we're uh, making some shots. Uh, we're, you know, we haven't figured out the road yet. We won last last game, so hopefully that can give us a little. Uh, start to have some better success on the road. Coach, you mentioned better defense there. You've held the last two opponents to 88 and 107 points. I mean, that's almost cause for throwing a party. I mean, if you hold a team to <laughs> under 90, I mean, that's pretty amazing. Uh, you know, a- Atlanta, they're not the best defensive team. Hopefully they're you guys worse, are able statistically. To, to do so, some more of that tonight on the road, like you talked about. Well, I mean, we have to. If we want to make a push, you know, like you said, we're only a game and a half out of the playoffs and there's there's I think the fifth seed is has ten losses. We have fourteen, but you know, almost, you know, fifty five, sixty games to go. So we got we got we got a lot of work to do and we I feel like we're we are trending better in the right direction. So we just gotta keep it going and, and you know making shots is critical for us and I I realized that early on. We make shots, we play better defense. It it doesn't it shouldn't work that way, but it, it has and you know, hopefully we can, you know, get on a nice roll here on the road. Coach, what's the locker room been like? Last time we had you on, you're coming off all the controversy, the effing everybody. It's funny. We we had a big fight yesterday, Valdez and I, one of the producers, and I was effing him and effing his mother and everything. I mean, it was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, but, you know, those things happen. I actually said. But that's the other way around. That's kind of like the boss yelling okay. at the All <laughs> right. Is... But I actually called him, and I, I called him. I said, listen, I'm sorry. But I equated. I said, it's like Scotty Brooks and John Wall yelling at each other. I mean, it happens. It's family. It happens, and every I mean, it, it it happens every year. Every team I've been on, it happens many times, and and we haven't had a physical altercation in three years here since That's I've good. been the coach. But that that has happened. Like just about every team I played on back in the, you know the when I played. But it it happens. You know, you move on, you get better from it, and you move on. What about on the last and, couple of weeks though? Like everything's like things kind of mellowed out a little bit, or. Oh, that's been great. You know, it's been good. It's been good. We're we're playing better. We're we're winning games. We still have some. We still need to play better. You know, certain certain guys, and we, we need to get Austin going. Austin hasn't had the start that we we need him to have. Hopefully, he can he can play better tonight. Kelly, you know, kind of had a a breakout uh, breakout game last game. Hopefully, he can keep playing well. But I, I think when we change the lineup, that's really helped. And put and then then we changed it again just. To, we're just trying to find ways, and we changed it to put Ottawa at the four. That helped Keith coming off the bench. And then in the two, two or three games ago, we changed, put Sadoransky in the, in the starting lineup. I think that's really helped, and hopefully that can uh, give us some solid performance out of everybody's spot, and not everybody wants to score the basketball in that starting lineup. Well, it seems like, and, and everybody knows, this team, if the backcourt plays well, if you get John and Bradley Beal playing to their full potential, you can win a lot of ball games, and it seems like they have played better of late. Is that what you're seeing on the court? They have, you know, they, they definitely have, uh, and we need them to play well. Brad, is, Brad is still. I mean, I keep saying this. It's amazing to me that he hasn't. It's going to happen. I don't know when he's going to make 45 to 50 percent of his threes. The guy is such a knockdown pure shooter, and he's shooting, I think, 33 percent for the year. So that that that's eventually going to take place, but he's playing an all-around floor game, and which we need. But when they, when those, let's face it, you're right. When those two play well, we're tough to beat. So when you when you play teams like the Nets and the Knicks and the Hawks, now I know they're professionals. Well, they lost to the Nets earlier this year. I Dinwiddie know. and Russell went off. Well, the, well, the Nets were playing well for a time there, and then they've lost seven straight. So, and then the Knicks, you know, they're they're pathetic. The Hawks. <laughs> They've lost the few in a row. The Knicks, the Knicks, they, the Knicks part of we beat, they were, they were four and two. They beat uh, at Boston, uh, yeah, the like, Pelicans, like, and then they, and then the, then the Bucks they beat. Right. That just tells me that some teams just take nights off. 
That's what it tells me. <laughs> like, they don't decide to play because if that game meant, you know, getting into the playoffs, there's no chance the Knicks are going to beat those teams. So my question is, when you play teams like the Nets and the Knicks and the Hawks, and the Hawks are the, the worst of those three, they're 5-19. and 19. I know you can't take them lightly. But, like, what do you see? They're very young. You know, there's a lot of hype about Trey Young, but he's struggling. Kevin Horter has been starting, I think, for them out of Maryland. So when you kind of scout them, what do you see with the Hawks? They're definitely young, they're, but they're athletic. They're going to they're gonna play hard. They've been in some close games. Trey Young is going to – I mean, he's, he's actually – he's impressed me. He's he, – I, I know everybody's comparing him to Steph Curry, which is unfair, but I think he has a chance to be really good. Uh, Kevin Horter is really – that kid is solid. I mean, he's, he's, I don't think he's making as many shots as he's going to make. Uh, they're athletic. Uh, Prince is out tonight, so that, you know, that probably hurts him a little bit because he's a pretty good wing defender because that can knock down some threes. But we can't take him lightly. I mean, we're 10-14. We're who, who, who are we going to take lightly? We have to come out and play well and play hard, and, and hopefully we can get another win tonight. 